Hi, welcome to my well-meaning and well-doing podcast. All beings are welcome, especially human beings. Ten fingers, ten toes. If you have a genital malformation or something and identify as intersex, uh, we don't mind you typing uh, funny jokes around here if you've got a sense of humour. Not at all. Um, this is inappropriate to um, have any kind of a ide- ideology if you've got no idea. Um, unless you're an idealist and you're a lost romantic, feel free to leave a comment. Um, otherwise, um, please, maybe this isn't for you. Today's topic we'll be talking about um, Israel. Would you believe it? Uh, I have come to the conclusion after a lot of research, biblical and, and scientific, that um, maybe Israel needs a psychologist. The whole country. I mean, think about it. After the Holocaust, uh, I believe this is what, have, what should have happened. Israelis should have been taken in all over the world, made sure they were cared for. Can you imagine like, um, being in those conditions and then being set into a, into a desert with a couple of church mosques and, uh, and, uh, and poor irrigation systems yet before you sort out how to uh, leach the Red Sea and whatnot, you know? Uh, I don't know, uh, what was the West thinking? You know, there was already people living there. They were probably Jews. You know, probably they went. Uh, they were Jews, and they uh, converted to um, I don't know um, comedy and um, Islam later on, or via Christianity uh, about two thousand years ago. So the people are the same people that have been there since the dawn of time, or written time and biblical time. You know, which 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 works for me because I believe that the Abrahamic faith should unite uh, Jews, Christians, and Muslims chronologically. You know. So I believe, like, uh, as, a, as a concept, the idea that a country could be so traumatised uh, after a Holocaust, I don't know what other countries did, like in um, uh, Pol Pot and, um, and um, Stalin and the Armenians and these poor other, I don't know, genocides, we'll call them genocides because there can only be one Holocaust, right? <clears throat> uh, and we should, never be, um, we should never be allowed to forget it. But what I'm saying is you can't then go back there and... Uh, uh, it makes you wonder: is it the other? Is this violence being paid for? Because I know that um, my uh, relatives—I'm not sure whether they would like to tell stories of tales so traumatic that it has no other uh, outcome than uh, traumatizing a child or uh, radicalizing and nationalizing a child, as we're seeing in uh, in the Holy Land right now. On both sides, obviously, it's not just uh, both sides need to assume a little bit of responsibility, you know. Huh? Half Hamas, half Mossad. Huh? Okay. So, um, that's all I'm going to say. Um, except for if you need a friend who does black face, woman face, and American face, and um, is safe around animals and children, um, <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs>